one of the most controversial movies of Will Smith has to be I Am Legend, and whether this movie will get a sequel or not. Thus, we are here today to have a little discussion about it, tell you everything we know so far, and take the first look into things and where the franchise stands. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Why a sequel hasn't happened yet For so long, there have been talks about a potential sequel to I Am Legend, a movie that seemed way ahead of its time especially with the whole COVID-19 pandemic all around us all of a sudden. The movie itself posed a great platform for it to continue into multiple sequels. However, that is an idea that has not been realized yet. As for all of you who are interested in a prequel or a sequel of the movie, you must have asked yourself the same question. Why? Why hasn't it happened yet? What is the holdup? Well, back in 2008, just one year after the release of the movie, it was first announced that I Am Legend prequel was in the works and that both Will Smith and Francis Lawrence were in talks to return to the big screen and have already provided the script that was for sure worthwhile. As for the prequel and what it would have been about, Will Smith revealed that the film would see Robert Neville and a team head to Washington DC for the last stand against the infected at the time, and that the prequel would eventually lead to the picture we were given about Neville's past shortly before the fall of New York City in the first movie. Two years went by, and by 2011, no further development on the project had occurred, and Francis, the director of the movie, proclaimed that it all went to dust. The whole project scrambled. Warner Bros. made further rumors about making the second movie, but Will Smith never ended up signing on. So both projects, just like the previous one, went sideways. In 2018, in an interview, Lawrence said that the studio was indeed keen on making another I Am Legend movie, but that Will found all the potential ideas for the project lacking. And this was the last for the movie, until recently, many rumors spread about a rise in the idea and the pursuit of a second movie of the franchise happening. However, nothing is confirmed yet. However, if it comes to a movie in the first place, we will tell you some pointers about the movie and some things that would have to change for the movie to not go out of its originality. Here you go, just the way you like it. Disgusting. Release date. We are also poised with the question of when would an eventual release date happen? Well, to tell you the sad news is that there is still no official confirmation about a sequel even being made at the moment of speaking. No rumors have been heard over the internet of it even coming out or not. Thus, we are here empty-handed without an official announcement of a sequel happening anytime soon. So, with this at hand, all we can say is that there is an equal chance of the movie being renewed for a sequel or eventually thrown into the dumpster for good, which might sound ridiculous knowing how the first movie was welcomed, but it also is a good sign as a sequel is not out of the picture for good. If any miracle happens and the sequel gets a green light, the earliest we can expect the movie to release would be late 2023 or 2024. That is, if the sequel follows the same procedure the first one got in terms of schedule, filming, production, and post-production. There is also the pessimistic assumption about the movie and a sequel never happening in the future, because even after 14 years since the first movie, nothing sparked a light between then and now. The first movie was welcomed with open arms by the audiences, despite the mixed reviews it received from the critics, reaching 585.3 million worldwide. <laughs> Warner Bros. pushing for a reboot one of the things that went in favor of the movie was the period when Warner Bros. was exhausting themselves, trying to come up with ways to make a sequel for I Am Legend, despite the star of the movie, Will Smith, not being completely for it, and an eventual follow-up of his character in the franchise. However, a little bit of confidence was restored to the crew when a former Apple employee found a way to continue the post-apocalyptic tale, all thanks to a spec script written by him. That man was Gary Graham, who wrote A Garden at the End of the World, describing his script in short as a sci-fi version of The Searchers. You know, the Wild West movie with John Ford starring in the lead role? Yeah, that one. Moving on. Gary managed to complete this script while working at an Apple store in Midtown Manhattan. He then posted the script on the Blacklist website and was contacted by manager Brooklyn Weaver promptly signing him and sending the script around Hollywood. Reportedly after this idea, Warner Bros. would have retrofitted the script to fit the narrative of their franchise and a well-suited script for a follow-up sequel of I Am Legend. Graham was even asked to rewrite the script, connecting his original idea to the previous film. 
but how close the two came remains unclear, as it never turned out to be something far greater than just a script. As strange and crazy as the idea might seem, the retrofitting of a script is not an uncommon practice in Hollywood. You would not believe it if we tell you that Jonathan Hinesley's script, Simon Says, was turned into Die Hard, with one of the many examples being George Nolfi's Honor Among Thieves, eventually becoming Ocean's 12. Hey, you're okay. You're okay. Samantha, just gotta get you home. Gotta get you. Gotta take you. I am legend to retrofitting. Now, what kind of retrofitting would the sequel of I Am Legend need? And just what changes would occur for the sequel? Well, for starters, knowing that the first movie was released around 14 years ago, and the knowledge of Will Smith not wanting to return to the role, the sequel would see a new cast, as the only two cast members left beyond Infected were the woman and the boy who was stuffed in the chute at the end of the finale of the first movie. So maybe the sequel could pick up on that too. The only way Will Smith could return for the role is by the alternate ending the movie had, which was not shown in the theaters, an ending that could make a difference in Will's character. All in all, a new cast would be a fresh start for the franchise, with only Will joining them in the lead role, teaching the youngsters how much you need to sacrifice to stay alive and save the world. One other major change the sequel would need to consider making is that the disease would have to change, fitting the world we live in today more accurately. Because the Crippen virus, manifested in the more darkened places, New York, was the perfect location for it. Why? Well, it seemed that the infected would only roam at night, like some sort of vampire. They did not like the sun that much, thus they would not roam outside the city, making the virus not that effective, or the end of the world threat at all. And last but not least, there should also be the fact that there might not be a cure for the disease at all. Maybe something in the future, but until then, the world is left alone and surviving by any means necessary, doing everything for the next generation for the greater good. My name is Robert Neville. I'm a survivor living in New York City. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below, what do you think about the first movie and where do you see Will Smith's journey taking him next? if a sequel ever happens. And also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you would like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time.